A young boy loses both of his parents, this happening in gunfire, a hail of gunfire in Newton County. And at the center of this investigation, a man who the GBI said shot and killed his wife and was later gunned down by an officer. The GBI sent both bodies to its crime lab indicator for autopsies. And that is where we find 11 Alive's Latasha Givens tonight. Latasha, you talked with neighbors in this small town of Porterdale. That's right, Cheryl and Jeff. Neighbors on Megan Court where this happened say it's normally a quiet street. There's only about five homes, but they were unexpectedly heard gunshots last night, and they say they were devastated when they learned two of their neighbors were dead. Me, my husband, and the dog came out last night around 9:15, maybe. Less than five minutes later, we heard a gunshot. It was really close. Tammy Watkins, who lives next door, says she ran back in the house and called 911. It's devastating. It's just like, it's unreal. You know, we were less than probably 10 feet away from them when this happened. It was just so close. It was almost like, are they shooting at us? That's how close it was. GBI says when officers arrived, they found blood in the driveway and a woman identified as 40 year old Aaron Renee Smith dead in the garage with apparent gunshot wounds. Neighbors say these pictures are from her husband's Facebook page. 56 year old Daryl Johansson was still armed, hiding in a closet upstairs as officers made their way inside the home. GBI says a SWAT team member opened fire, killing Johansson. Watkins says the couple leaves behind a son who was in his preteen years. He wasn't home at the time of the shooting. He's at the overnight camp and okay. he's safe and unharmed. I looked out for her son when he came off the school bus, making sure he got in the house. It's just tragic because we have a pretty calm, little peaceful neighborhood down here. Tom Singleton says he's known the couple for 10 years and sold them this house. No signs of trouble at all, you know. Uh, both of them were easy going and peaceful. Sad, this kid that lost both of his parents in one night, a senseless crime. It's just unreal. It's just really hard to believe. N no word yet on who will care for that little boy. Now this shooting makes the 44th officer involved shooting. GBI has been called in to investigate this year. Sherilyn Jeff, back to you.